we went to the first cultural and education centre, we it, we met this lady called Eva Angel, and she told us about um, Taipei 101, and she told us that it had the fastest um, elevator in the world. The first thing we did was went to a, chi a Chinese culture and education centre. We learned how to do some Chinese writing. Well, Chinese have different um, language to us and the main um, one in China is man Mandarin and Cantonese and instead of um, writing the words to us, they do symbols. In China, um, you know how we do writing in letters, they don't use letters, they use symbols instead. The way the Chinese speak is different to us. They oh, speak with ni hao and wow. lots of other words. Some of the words we don't understand and some of us do understand it because some of us might have Chinese family and some of us might, and some of our dads or some of our parents might travel around to China and they might teach you some words over the phone, like ni hao my land, or like ni hao or shishi. On Two P's excursion, we went to this restaurant called Shanghai Stories 1938. It was fun having an excursion to Chatswood and going to try Chinese food and drink green tea. We ate spring rolls dumplings, sweet and sour pork, calamari and fried so rice and drunk green tea and water. Is it, what, what the second enjoying? thing we did was go to a Chinese restaurant. It was called and, Shanghai and Stories like 1938. Um, we had lots of different types of food. My favourite was the fried rice and spring rolls. We had dumplings, sweet and sour pork, spring rolls, fried rice beans and um, we had green tea, there was green tea too. Chopsticks, I used to pick up food and also play games like the chopstick challenge, like the chopstick challenge. What was the chopstick challenge about? The chopstick challenge was about sort of like a graph and um, you you choose to cut two counters, someone on the computer to time it, and two contestants and one recorder. And the contestants have to try and get as many pieces of pasta in a cup as possible. We've done the chopstick challenge. There's two contestants, two counters, a recorder and a time person. And sometimes there's somebody who says, ready, set, go. The contestants have to get as many pasta pieces into a cup. At first, Patrick was... Ah, uh, you're not allowed to use fingers? ...chopstick ch um, champion. Then Caitlin. Then Logan. Then someone else. Well, after the, um, the Chinese restaurant, we went to um, this Chinese culture centre and Miss Chow talked to us about um, the lucky colour, the lucky number and Chinese New Year. And what are they, the lucky colour? Um, the cu lucky colour is red and the lucky number is eight and they don't like the number four. Why not? Um, because they say it's like... Is a sign of death. The sign of death. When we went to the cultural centre, a lady called Miss Chow told us that if you give two mandarins to your auntie or uncle or any relatives, you can you get a red packet and money and you get money inside of it. A lady called Mrs. Chow um, told us. Um, the animal of the year we were born in and I found out that my mum was a tiger, my dad was a water rabbit, I am a monkey, my 
sister Asher's a rabbit and my sister Naomi is a pig. The last place we went was just a Chinese culture center and Mrs. Chow showed us like a poster and, she, and Scarlett from the other class told us why Ch the Chinese like the colour red because it scared away the dragon and it was a very exciting day but it was very long and very tiring. At the end we lost um, Mrs Long and some other people and then we were, we sat on the stairs to wait for the bus and wait for the problem to get fixed. And we lost Mrs Long and some other people and then Mr Powling rang to tell them where we are and then we waited for the bus and that's really, and then we went back to school.